We've got a little holiday inspiration and plenty of holiday flavors coming together in tonight's cooking segment. 12 year old viewer chef Emmy Cross is back again, making it look really easy in the kitchen as she puts together an eggnog gingerbread trifle. Hi guys, today I'm going to be making a gingerbread eggnog trifle. So these are all my ingredients I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna start off by making my cake. You could use a box mix like me, or you could make a homemade recipe or buy your own. So let's get started. Okay, now that my cake is baking in the oven, I'm gonna start preparing some of my ingredients. So I'm gonna put my mini Keith bars in this bag and I'm gonna smash them up just so they're a little bit smaller and easier to work with. This part makes a lot of noise. Okay, now that I've been smashing these until they're in a little bit more manageable pieces, I'm gonna pour them back into my bowl and save them for later. Okay, it's time to make the whipped cream. Okay, so I just brought these back from the freezer actually, and the freezer just helps make the whipped cream come together a little bit faster and a little bit more creamy. So I'm gonna start putting in my ingredients. Okay, so I have two cups of heavy whipping cream and I'm gonna pour this into my mixer. And I'm just gonna put this on a medium low speed and let it whip up until it forms soft peaks. Okay, now that this has formed soft peaks, I'm gonna add six tablespoons of powdered sugar and I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. This just gives it a little more sweetness and a little more flavor than just plain old cream. Okay, now we'll just mix this in until it's all incorporated. You don't wanna over mix it. Okay, I'm gonna start making the pudding now. So instead of using the box mix directions for the pudding, I'm going to be using, instead of the cold milk, I'm gonna be using cold eggnog. So I'm gonna pour in my pudding packet. When I make eggnog, I always add a little bit of nutmeg. It just makes it so much better. Like, who can have eggnog without nutmeg? Okay, so this is just three cups of eggnog and I'm just gonna mix it up until it comes together. Okay, now that the pudding is starting to thicken up, I'm going to add in about a cup of whipped cream. You don't really have to measure, just like a scoop. <laughs> and you're gonna fold this in. So now I'm just gonna fold this into the pudding. Oh, this is looking so good. This is coming together really nicely. So now we're gonna start assembling our trifle. Now it's time to build our trifle. So I'm gonna use about half the cake, um, put that on the bottom, then I'm gonna put the pudding, then a little bit of whipped cream, then the Heath bars and the caramel, and then I'm gonna repeat, and on top, we're gonna add these little gingerbread men. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And one more last tip, if you do not have a big trifle dish like this one, you can obviously use these little cups. And it's great for COVID because single serving. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I hope you guys make it. Bye. <laughs> she always makes it look so easy. Thank you, Emmy. We will include the recipe to Emmy's eggnog gingerbread trifle in the 207 section of our website and mobile app.